Hi, this is Mark from ITCU Solutions, and today I just want to go over how to update your firmware on an Instanon 1930 switch. Um, as you can see right here, uh, this is where you go to get the software, and I'll put the link in the description below on the video. So what you're going to want to do is go to the, it's in the community, um, Aruba uh, thing. So you're just going to go to the Instanon 1930 software switching portal, and then just scroll down to um, whichever version you want, probably the latest. I got 29053 and 291.17 because I was going to use both of those to update the switch today. I'm only going to do one of them to show how this is done. So I'm already logged into the switch. So what we're going to do is just click back the tab over to that. And I'm going to go on, talk about how you do this, especially if you're going to do this remotely. There's a couple steps. You want to make sure you go over it. You can lock yourself out. The first thing I want you to do is go to set up network and then click on the HTTP management settings. Make sure your standard HTTP management is turned on because if you are using a certificate, uh, self-generated or some type of certificate to manage this with your HTTP management, HTTPS management settings, if you don't have the management on, when you do the firmware update, it can actually blow away your certificate and get you locked out. This is true basically on any um, Aruba switch I've ever used. So just make sure that that's on, because especially if you're doing this remotely, you don't want to get locked out. So just make sure you have that turned on. And then of course, once you do your firmware update, just verify your HTTPS works and then you can go ahead and turn it back on, turn, turn the HTTP back off. Uh, once you've done that, the next thing you want to do is just go down to the maintenance, uh, off to the, in the uh, list there. And that will take you to the dual image configuration screen. And from there, you're going to want to go to the backup and update file screen. And so on this screen, um, you, it gives you two choices. You can actually backup files and you can update files. We're going to backup a file here just in case. We're going to just backup our startup config, or I mean, excuse me, our, our uh, and we're going to do, go down to the list. We're going to actually, our running configuration because we want to do the latest. And we're just going to back that up real quick. It'll just take a second. We're going to go to HPS. You could use TFTP or SCP, Secure Control Protocol. But in our case, it's just easiest to use the web backup. So we're going to hit Next and start our file transfer. Now, you don't actually have to do this step, but I would just recommend it in case something happens. You can always go back and just restore your image. So I'm just going to click OK here. And then I'm going to go back to my backup and update files. And from here, what we're going to want to do is leave it on update because that's to pull, update is to pull a file from your machine that we've already downloaded. So we're going to click on this and we're going to keep it on uh, backup image and on HTTPS and we're going to hit it again and we're going to choose our file. So in the, my case, I have it in the temp directory. There's also some stuff in downloads, which is where we just downloaded our other file. And we're going to go to the uh, 2.9053 one and select that because this is one version away. So now we're just going to click open. And so we have that selected. Now we're going to start our file transfer here. Um, this is going to take a while, so we're going to just pause the video while it transfers and be right back. Okay, the file has almost been copied over. And so the first thing you notice is once it's been copied over, it says in order to activate this new software engine, it's required to restart the switch now. Do not do this. Do not restart it. Um, if you do restart it, what you're doing is you're also basically copying up a new startup config. So you don't want to do this because it'll actually wipe your configuration out. So we're just going to click cancel at this point. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to go up and save configuration. What this is doing is this is going to copy our running configuration to the new startup that just got wiped out by the upload. So all we have to do after we've done this, we should have the new image. And if you go look at your dual image configuration, it will show you that now the active image is 2.8 and the backup is 2.9. But the next time we reboot, the 
the new image will become the backup image. And you can always change that. So what we're gonna do in this case is just go to the reset. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna reboot it. And once we do that, we'll pause the video again. So I'm just gonna hit reboot here. And this will also take a while. We'll hit reboot again. And we'll just pause the video until that comes back up. Okay, so we just refinished rebooting it. Um, so all you have to do now is just refresh your page here and go back to advanced and um, re-log in. In our case, we're just using the admin username. should see is if we go back to maintenance and you notice now the active image is now 2.9 and um, what I'll probably do is of course up, I'll probably update another image with 291 and probably just maintain two different images and just keep the active image to be the newest one but you need, just make sure you follow the steps on what we did here when you do the upgrade, especially if you're doing it remotely, because there is always a possibility with the uh, HP switches. If you don't do this right, you can actually blow away your configuration. And that's the real reason I just wanted to go over this real quick, because I accidentally did that the first time I did this, and I lost my configuration, and uh, I was lucky enough to be on site, so it wasn't a big deal. But... You know, if you're doing this remotely or something, it really could be. So I hope this is helpful. If anyone has any questions, just leave it in the comments below. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.